Hi friends, let's look at the trick to find cube of any number from 1 to 1000 in just two steps. Let's take an example. If we want to find a cube of 23, then in step number 1, we would first take cube of 2, which is our first digit. Then we will multiply 2 square into 3, that is the square of first number multiplied by the second number. 2 square into 3. Next, we will take 3 square into 2, which is the square of second number into the first number and then 3 cube. So we have 8, then 2 square 4 into 3, 12, 3 square 9 into 2, 18 and 3 cube 27. Right? Now let's go to step number 2. In this step, we are just going to multiply the middle two numbers into 2. So 12 into 2 is 24 and 18 into 2 is 36. The first and the last number remains the same. If you don't want, you can avoid writing it. So let's take the first and the last number as it is. Now we are going to add the middle numbers. So 18 plus 36 is 54 and 24 plus 12 is 36. That's it. Now we just have to add these numbers. So since it is a two digit number, we'll take one digit and carry over the other. So 7 stays as it is and 2 will get carry over to 54. Now 54 plus 2 is 56. So 6 remains as it is. 5 gets carry over. 36 plus 5 is 41. So 1 stays and 4 gets carry over. So 8 plus 4 is 12. So our answer is 12167. Now let us understand the logic. For this we have used the formula a plus b the whole cube which is a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. Now we will ask what is a and b in our question which is 23 cube. So 23 can be written as 20 plus 3 the whole cube right. So 20 is our a and 3 is our b. Let's simplify this. So a cube will be 20 cube which will be 8000. b cube will be 3 cube which is 27. Now 3a square b. So 3 multiplied by 20 square into 3. Right? Which will be 3600 and 3ab square will be 3 multiplied by 20 into 3 square which will be 540. Okay, now let's add all these numbers. So it will be 12167 which is same as our shortcut answer. Right? Basically, in shortcut method, we avoid using 0 and hence we do our calculation with 2 instead of 20. So, in shortcut method, we have taken 8 and then for the middle two numbers, that is 3a square b and 3ab square. What we have done is we have taken just a square b and a b square, right? And a cube and b cube we have taken as it is. Now, in the step 2, what we have done is we are multiplying these middle two numbers into 2. We are just doubling it. 
right so in the first step we got a square b and a b square and in the second step we got 2 a square b and 2 a b square right because we are multiplying that number by 2 so when we add the first step and second step middle numbers we get nothing but 3 a square b and 3 a b square which is 36 and 54 right because a square b plus 2 a square b will be 3 a square b and a b square plus 2 a b square will be 3 a b square so this is how the shortcut method works it is derived from this particular formula and then what we do is just add these numbers so since it is a two digit number we keep one digit in the end and carry over the rest now let's see a cube of a three digit number let's have a look with an example so now we'll find the cube of number 216 so which will be nothing but 200 plus 16 cube right now in the shortcut method we avoid using zeros so we'll take 2 cube which is 8 and 16 cube which is 4096 then for the middle numbers we'll take a square b which is 2 square into 16 which is 64 and a b square which will be 2 multiplied by 16 square which is 256 so 512 now in step 2 we will multiply the middle numbers so 64 into 2 would be 128 and 512 multiplied by 2 will be 1024 right now we'll add these two numbers so it will be 1536 and 128 plus 64 will be 192 and the first and the last numbers will remain the same now since this is a three digit number we are going to retain two numbers and carry the rest so 4096 we are going to retain 96 and carry over 40 all right now we'll add this number so we'll take 76 and then 15 will get carry over now add 15 to 192 so 5 plus 2 7 9 plus 1 10 0 1 plus here carry over so total 2 2 will get carry over to 8 so 8 plus 2 will be 10 so our answer is 1007-7696 so if we are taking a cube of a three digit number we are going to retain two digits and carry over the rest and if we are taking cube of a two digit number then we are going to retain only one number and carry the rest is that clear now let's test it with our formula so we have a cube which will be 200 cube so it will be 80 lakhs then we have b cube which will be 16 cube which is 4096 then 3a square b which will come to 19 lakhs 20 thousand and 3ab square which will be 153 600 now let's add all these numbers so it will be same as our shortcut answer i hope you liked the video and you understood the logic and shortcut to find the cube Please subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos and also check out the link which is given in the description box. Thank you.